thing. Good morning, everybody. This is Evan Salinas with Hernandez and Associates. And I'm Estella Hernandez with Hernandez and Associates. Thank you for joining us on another YouTube uh, video. So today we wanted to talk about a recent survey that we came across talking about the different statistics basically of uh, closures and different things, how the restaurant uh, industry or the restaurant community is being affected by uh, the pandemic. An obvious um, video that they have been completely affected, but we wanted to go some over some of the statistics that the TRA uh, who polled its members have come up with. And this is the Texas Restaurant Association. This came from an email that I received from them. And they're talking about percentages where um, in some cases by the end of the year, uh, restaurants will have to furlough um, some of their uh, employees. They've already cut down. Um, even uh, with the percentage of being able to um, serve, you know, uh, in their restaurants, 50% capacity dining in, um, that even with that, they can't continue to operate. Said that uh, people are using up their savings because just to keep the place running, uh, they're going to have to apply for loans. Um, even with this uh, less traffic and um, you know, less capacity, they're still having to pay more uh, on their expenses. And the, the it's 55% of the restaurants report this, that their expenses have gone up. So, um, you know, by the, and they're comparing also employees that they have now, the number of employees they have now to last year at this time. And it's, it, all these percentages are really, um, you know, dramatic. Um, so for them to continue to stay open, um, it's really going to be a challenge for them. What's interesting is that, you know, we, we hear what our uh, clients tell us basically. And, you know, from having to place larger orders because uh, the uh, meat and the vegetable and the grocery suppliers are telling them that they raise their minimums. You know what I mean? So you can no longer order just a minimum of 500. You have to order a thousand minimum. And, you know, right now, uh, you know, that's a lot of money that they're having to move their minimums in. And it's kind of like everything ends up trickling down and affecting everybody differently, you know. So that would equate to whoever the end, whoever's going to be eating there, they're going to have to pay more for their, their food, you know what I mean? And even other owners have told us basically, you know, like when you hear uh, people hoarding food and stuff like that, what that basically equates to is that they're not going to come out to restaurants and then they're not going to eat until they finish their whole entire hoarding of food that they've got. Then they're going to come out. And so all these little things start affecting uh, the restaurants, basically. And I mean, this we could probably do the same video for restaurants, for bars, for everything else. Um, they're all affected differently, but, you know, it's, it's just interesting. Everything is affected by what's going on right now. I also believe that the gap between the large corporate chains and the mom and pop restaurants and, and businesses like that is going to be you know is going to continue to grow because you know like huge companies they can afford to fire everybody keep their expenses as low as possible they have enough in the bank that they could re-emerge with only instead of 50 locations 20 and they'll still be alive whereas we were talking before this and if it's a mom and pop shop they have one shop they have 10 people working there and you know half the people that work there are family and half mm -hmm. of those people live in the same household i mean you know who are you going to lay off how's that even going to work so just it, interesting to see how it's going to happen and this is just a survey that was taken by the texas restaurant association there is another organization that uh has uh, that are for bars just bars and um and you know they are um also you know i mean if they were to take the survey uh, I mean, they would probably be even worse than this because a lot of them can't open um, at all, even with a minimum capacity as this, you know, where you can for a restaurant. So I'm sure that if they did the same poll or, or took the same survey with uh, just people that are that own bars, that would be even more drastic. Um, you know, so uh, we know that the bars are, are also um, going through a lot. Um, and to where they don't even have where they can have you know minimum capacity or you know they just can't open um unless they go with you know now uh tabc is has a 
has given them an option to kind of um, reclassify themselves and and try to open up with some minimum requirements and that's a whole other video but <laughs> but I'll stop there um, so if you have any questions about that and your uh, own a bar or club we can go over that with you uh, just give us a call drop us an email uh, or comment here and um, you know so we just thought we'd bring you this information um, and also uh, continue to um, support the restaurants. I know Restaurant Week is going on. Um, there's also a beer run uh, going on here That's in here Texas. In here in Texas. And I'll put those links on mm -hmm. in the description below so yeah. that you can kind of uh, know what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and we just give this for you for your information, I mean, for information purposes. Uh, so uh, there's just some things that we know of uh that are going on activities that are going on around, around the state so thank you i'm evan salinas with hernandez and associates and i'm estella hernandez with hernandez and associates thank you so much for joining us on all our videos please continue to subscribe share thank you and until next time take care